Hello everybody, this is Tara and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. So we're picking up where we left off last time and just to give you a quick recap if you've been away for a little bit, we just finished uh, sneaking into Lord Marsh's house and we found out some more information about the special, special education program and we are also in Hearst Cellar and we found several pieces of evidence that we need to examine now. So we have Lord Marsh's handkerchief. We found directions to Grunston's Oak, which was um, also with an invitation for Lord Marsh. And we also have a military badge that we need to look at in the archives and see what they mean. So we're gonna do that first. Holmes, come here. This is serious. <laughs> it's a little dramatic. Okay, we want to... Holmes, come here. This is serious. Oh, I see. He's calling me over here. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. Okay, I see. My intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. I agree. All right. Let's study it more closely. Focus a bit. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. Mm. Ew. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Ew. Alright, let's take this, because it looks like it could work. And there. Let us apply chemicals to color the sample. Okay. Mm. Which one? I need a pipette. Guesswork. This chemical should be applied first. Ah. Not guesswork. First one. Acid alcohol. Methylene blue. Okay. Now, let's examine the colored sample under the microscope. All right, let's see what we can see. Okay. For unusual elements. Ew. That's not good. A mycobacterium. It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. Yeah, but what is it? Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson. Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. It's weird. Like, why would Lord Marsh's doctor not protect himself? Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. So we can talk to the daughter a little bit. <gasps> this is so romantic. Okay. Let's look at the rest the archives. Let's see what this is. Military badge. Ha! 
half wolf, half jackrabbit. Marksman unit. There it is. Okay. What does this mean? Oh, then Grunston's Oak. Okay. Oh, that would make a lot more sense. What else do we have? Yeah, it must be in an encyclopedia. English Oaks. There. Witches, fable, legend, Epping Forest. Here it is. Cronston's Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we've searched the map. First, I want to see what connections we can make. It looks like we can make a few more. I wonder... Yeah. George Hurst had belonged to the Lovat Scouts Marksman's Unit. Right, that's all we have for now. Let's go to the map. See if we can find that forest. Let's try to find the place from the hand-drawn map. Oh dear. I remember being up here, I thought. Earlier when we were looking at the map. We're looking for this is a big place. It's got a little bit of like grass in the corner. No. Although Here it yeah. is. Drat. I'll need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. Wiggins, does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Father, back at school there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. Romantic? Oh boy. Kate, Wiggins is not the sort of boy you should be socializing with. So he's perfect then. Oh, Kate. <sighs> I'll leave you alone now. I have another one. about the meeting between Lord Marsh and his companies that took place in Epping Companions. In Epping Forest. Yes. Okay. What do we have? Go to Epping Forest. Makes sense. Okay. Let's go there then. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is this is where he was shot for. Okay, at the beginning. So 
been 48 hours already. Say his journey to Epping Forest Let's did not go well. Let's see how long you can stay alive. What? I would really love to know who's chasing me, but oh, I see. I saw something. I've got it. Closer. Move it. Is that your ah! no. <laughs> Oh, this is brutal. Jeez. All right, buddy. This man was killed recently. The body is still warm. What is happening? He was poor. Find him, boys! Find him! Oh, dear. I don't like this. No! I to recover. Can I go? No, I didn't. Why is it doing that? I'm not sure why he has a clear shot of me right now. All right, go. Shot too many times. So the weeds, no. I guess. Oh, come on. You scampering little rat! I'm looking for. Okay. I like to call this the swamp of despair. Okay. Then hang up, right? Yeah. All right. This is as fast as 
I can waddle. Okay, go. Harrington's body. He was killed by a shot to the forehead. Wow. My health is deteriorating. I need to dress my wound. Well, at least we found him. Yeah, and maybe the special program is uh, basically the Hunger Games. Excellent. It's not very safe. I can hide here. Is that what I can hide you here. Want to do? I feel like you're kind of dying. Who is this? The Quartermain Club. This must be Lord Marsh's cabin. This will help to dress my wound. Someone's coming, I better hide. Fantastic. Go faster. You really think they're not gonna check in here? This would be like the first place I would check. Breathe, Lord Marsh. Ew. It's almost over. Who are you? George Erst from the First Lovett Scouts, here to deliver justice. <laughs> An old soldier. How ironic. Did we refuse you on our special education program? It's true, I was refused. An old wounded soldier is useless to you. But he can still be dangerous. Oh God. We hunted a lot in these woods, but I didn't expect to become the prey. I have lived a grand life without any limits set by others. I will die a happy man, so you won't see me begging you festering wretch. <laughs> uh. 
Prepare to meet your maker. He looks so sick. What? Obviously. Let's draw some conclusions, I guess. Revenge. George Hurst wants revenge. Those are connected somehow. Somebody hunted them. this. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like it was definitely not George Hurst because he was the one that pieced everything together to figure out what was happening. I feel like something that Lord Marsh has been doing. Right? That makes more sense. Now do these... Tends to kill Lord Marsh. Yeah. That one. Okay. <sighs> mm Let's start at the beginning and just make sure that everything makes sense. Special job. It's obviously connected. Was interested in the special. Oh, that one's definitely right. Missing. They're all missing. He knew about the meeting. So that's probably how he first found out. Knew about the people who had gone missing. Yeah. That makes sense. Violence. Yeah. That that's good. Does this change anything? Yeah. That is correct. Let's check these. Yes. 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 So the Lord's hunt. That makes more sense. Revenge. Yes. Yes, I think. This is a tough one. Lord Marsh and his companions. Let's go back and I just want to check something. I want to go back and see specifically what he said. He said... Forest, here we go. Who are you here to deliver justice? But I didn't expect, yeah, we hunted a lot in these woods. Yeah, okay. I think that we have made the right decision because we can't go back. Okay, so what do we want to do? He's a cold-blooded killer who, under the guise of charity, hunted down poor people. Has 
no likelihood of recovering, allow him to die peacefully at home while ruminating on his crimes. No, he has like, he said he had no regrets, so we're definitely going to condemn him. Yes. Am I right? George, lower your rifle, please, for Tom's sake. Holmes! My, my, an almost worthy opponent. Tom? My Tom? If you've endangered my lad in any way, you will pay dearly. I assure you that Tom is safe in London with a well-trusted friend. And now, it's time to end this. By all means. George, listen to me. If you're seeking an apt punishment and vengeance, killing Marsh will give him exactly what he wants. He would die knowing that he had fulfilled his life through his absolute control of it. But if you allow Marsh to live and be arrested, he will suffer a punishment far greater than your eye could deliver. His ball and chain will be the debilitating tuberculosis. It will drag him painfully and slowly to his demise behind bars. You're mad! You're both mad! Let's go and find Tom. Not just yet. See, Lord Marsh, you will die here, although not by the gun. You'll die slowly. Don't do this, George. Detective, take a look here. Holy shit. This is how you became sick, Lord Marsh. The beheading of your victims who were suffering from tuberculosis was what infected you. Poetic justice. Holmes, you cannot fully understand why we helped so many and sacrificed a few. But don't let me die like this. Just kill me now. Uh, I can't shoot George. Mr. Hurst, you've already served brutal <laughs> justice to Lord Harrington and I hope Lord Collins and Dr. Fisher. Taking that into consideration, <clears throat> you may as well kill Lord Marsh and end the Quartermain Club completely. No loose ends. I'm in the majority. Oh, it's cool. You can replay the ending. Lord Marsh is a cold-blooded killer. Oh, he was cutting off their heads. That is so messed up. Cool. Well, maybe we'll do um, another episode later at the very end of the series where I'll replay some of the endings and do all of the uh, kind of the opposite choices. Yes! Found all the clues and I was correct. So I think this is a good time uh, to stop this episode for now and next episode we will start fresh with A Study in the Green, which is our second case in the series. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please leave your comments below and if you enjoyed the series so far, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful evening.